In this tutorial I want to briefly introduce the rounded edge shader in Houdini. So to get started I'll create a platonic solid. I'll press and hold control and left click on platonic solid okay, in the create shelf tab and I'll change it from tetrahedron to dodecahedron and you'll see that is the shape that we get. I'll press spacebar F to frame up on this and I'll go to the material palette. I'm not going to do any special lighting setup or anything for this just for sake of time. I'll drag in a principal shader and of course you can play around with some of the others like uh, gold maybe but you should probably set up a lighting environment for that to get the best results. So I'll just use the principal shader here, left click and drag and drop that onto the object. I will go in and add a render node, Mantra PBR, and I'll jump over to the render view and I'll click render. And you can see the result that we get here. This is very faceted, so you know it has very harsh edges. And so in the real world, you won't really see super harsh edges like this. You want to kind of smooth those out. So there are a few ways that you can do this. You can apply maybe bevels or something to get a supporting edges all right and then you can subdivide the thing or render this as subdivided a geometry but in this case what i'll do is i'll go to a network editor here again and the mat context and here you'll see that will now add this principal shader since we dropped it in with the material palette so I have this here, and in the parameters, I'll go to Pump and Normals. And right at the top here, we have something called Round Edge Radius. I'll left click to enable that, and immediately, since this is a progressive renderer, it'll update, of course, and you can see immediately the effect that we have. I'll turn it off again, and have that render, and just for fun, I'll create a snap. So left click here, we have that snap now. So we have that uh, saved out for comparison. I'll enable this again. Maybe set that to a value of 0 0.008. Press enter to confirm and you'll see this will now update again. All right, I'll take another snap here, clicking this button. And now we can compare these values. Here we have really hard edges. Okay. And with that rounded edge shader, you can see that we now have smooth edges. And again, with the proper lighting setup, those edges will now catch the light. And overall, it will simply be a much nicer uh, thing to look at here. So I'll just set that back to 0 0.01 in this case. Okay. And, and basically what this value does is it changes the radius. Okay. So... If you set it at a higher radius, of course, that will affect the radius on the edge. As you can see, we now have a much bigger bevel, basically. Right, in this demonstration, we'll see that we can apply the rounded edge to two intersecting pieces of geometry. So I'll just drop down a sphere here. And I'll drop down a transform. I'll set the sphere to a polygon mesh. All right. In the transform, I'll scale down the uniform scale. Again, I'll move it and scale it down a bit until I have a setup like this. Now that I render this, that rounded edge shader is applied on that intersection. I'll just change that here. Maybe exaggerate it a bit. Render this again. You can see that rounded edge shader being applied where those two intersect. So this is not one continuous piece of geometry right i did not have to go and do modeling on this really i just i'm basically just model bashing i'm just throwing pieces together i did not do a boolean or anything like that and still we have those intersecting around the edge corners that would be difficult to do of course if you wanted to apply a bevel for example because you kind of need an edge or something there to work with right yeah so this is a really useful setup maybe going in and model bashing different shapes to see what they'd look like and so forth so you can always go and bake those rounded edges, you know, down 
and then use those in games or for real time you know you can break those down it's just a normal effect basically 